Beverly Sills May 25, 1929 to July 2, 2007, was an American operatic soprano whose peak career was between the 1950s and 1970s. Although she sang a repertoire from Handel and Mozart to Puccini, Massenet and Verdi, she was known for her performances in coloratura soprano roles in live opera and recordings. Sills was largely associated with the operas of Donizetti, of which she performed and recorded many roles. Her signature roles include the title role in Donizetti's Lucia di Lammermoor, the title role in Massenet's Manon, Marie in Donizetti's La Fille du Régiment, the three heroines in Offenbach's Les Contes de Hoffmann, Rosina in Rossini's The Barber of Seville, Violetta in Verdi's La Traviata, and most notably Elisabetta in Roberto Devereux. The New York Times noted, In her prime her technique was exemplary. She could dispatch coloratura rollades and embellishments, capped by radiant high Ds and E flats, with seemingly effortless agility. She sang with scrupulous musicianship, rhythmic incisiveness, and a vivid sense of text. NPR commented, her voice was, capable of spinning a seemingly endless legato line, or bursting with crystalline perfection into waves of dazzling fioriture and thrilling high notes. After retiring from singing in 1980, she became the general manager of the New York City Opera. In 1994, she became the chairwoman of Lincoln Center and then, in 2002, of the Metropolitan Opera, stepping down in 2005. Sills lent her celebrity to further her charity work for the prevention and treatment of birth defects. Biography <inaudible> 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 Sills was born Bell Miriam Silverman in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, New York City, to Shirley Bond nay Sonia Markovna, a musician, and Morris Silverman, an insurance broker. Her parents were Jewish immigrants from Odessa, Ukraine then part of Russia and Bucharest, Romania. She was raised in Brooklyn, where she was known, among friends, as Bubbles Silverman. As a child, she spoke Yiddish, Russian, Romanian, French and English. She attended Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, as well as Manhattan's Professional Children's School. At the age of three, Sills won a Miss Beautiful Baby contest, in which she sang The Wedding of Jack and Jill. Beginning at age four, she performed professionally on the Saturday morning radio program Rainbow House as Bubbles Silverman. Sills began taking singing lessons with Estelle Liebeling at the age of seven and a year later sang in the short film Uncle Saul Solves It filmed August 1937, released June 1938 by Educational Pictures, by which time she had adopted her stage name, Beverly Sills. Liebeling encouraged her to audition for CBS Radio's Major Bose Amateur Hour, and on October 26, 1939 at the age of ten, Sills was the winner of that week's program. Bose then asked her to appear on his Capital Family Hour, a weekly variety show. Her first appearance was on November 19, 1939, the 17th anniversary of the show, and she appeared frequently on the program thereafter. In 1945, Sills made her professional stage debut with a Gilbert and Sullivan touring company produced by Jacob J. Schubert, playing 12 cities in the U.S. and Canada, in seven different Gilbert and Sullivan operas. In her 1987 autobiography, she credits that tour with helping to develop the comic timing she soon became famous for. I played the title role in Patience, and I absolutely loved the character, because Patience is a very funny, flaky girl. I played her as a dumb Dora all the way through and really had fun with the role. My patience grew clumsier and clumsier with each performance, and audiences seemed to like her. I found that I had a gift for slapstick humor, and it was fun to exercise it on stage." Sills sang in light operas for several more years. On July 9, 1946, Sills appeared as a contestant on the radio show Arthur Godfrey's Talent Scouts. She sang under the pseudonym of Vicky Lynn, as she was under contract to Schubert. Schubert did not want Godfrey to be able to say he had discovered Beverly Sills. If she won the contest, although she did not ultimately win, Sills sang Romany Life from Victor Herbert's The Fortune Teller. In 1947, she made her operatic stage debut as the Spanish gypsy Frisquita in Bizet's Carmen with the Philadelphia Civic Grand Opera Company. 
She toured North America with the Charles Wagner Opera Company, in the fall of 1951 singing Violetta in La Traviata and, in the fall of 1952, singing Michaela in Carmen. On September 15, 1953, she made her debut with the San Francisco Opera as Helen of Troy in Boito's Mephistofel and also sang Donna Elvira in Don Giovanni the same season. In a step outside of the repertoire she is commonly associated with, Sills gave four performances of the title role of Ida in July 1954 in Salt Lake City. On October 29, 1955, she first appeared with the New York City Opera as Rosalind in Johann Strauss I. Eyes die Fledermaus, which received critical praise. As early as 1956 she performed before an audience of over 13,000 at the Lewison Stadium with the noted operatic conductor Alfredo Antonini in an aria from Bellini's I Puritani. Her reputation expanded with her performance of the title role in the New York premiere of Douglas Moore's The Ballad of Baby Doe in 1958. On November 17, 1956, Sills married journalist Peter Greeno, of the Cleveland, Ohio, newspaper The Plain Dealer and moved to Cleveland. She had two children with Greeno, Meredith, Muffy, in 1959 and Peter Jr., Bucky, in 1961. Muffy died July 3, 2016, was profoundly deaf and had multiple sclerosis. Peter Jr. is severely mentally disabled. Sills restricted her performing schedule to care for her children. In 1960, Sills and her family moved to Milton, Massachusetts, near Boston. In 1962, Sills sang the title role in Massenet's Manon with the Opera Company of Boston, the first of many roles for opera director Sarah Caldwell. Manon continued to be one of Sill's signature roles throughout most of her career. In January 1964, she sang her first Queen of the Night in Mozart's The Magic Flute for Caldwell. Although Sills drew critical praise for her coloratura technique and for her performance, she was not fond of the latter role. She observed that she often passed the time between the two arias and the finale addressing holiday cards. Topic. Peak singing years In 1966, the New York City Opera revived Handel's then virtually unknown opera Syria Giulio Cesare with Norman Tregel as Caesar, and Sills' performance as Cleopatra made her an international opera star. Sills also made her unofficial Met debut in its Opera in the Parks. Program as Donna Anna in Don Giovanni, though nothing further came of this other than offers from Rudolf Bing for roles such as Flotow's Martha. In subsequent seasons at the NYCO, Sills had great successes in the roles of the Queen of Shamaka in Rimsky Korsakov's The Golden Cockerel, the title role in Manon, Donatsetti's Lucia di Lammermoor, and the three female leads Sor Angelica, Giorgetta, and Loretta in Puccini's trilogy Il Tritico. In 1969, Sills sang Zerbinetta in the American premiere in a concert version of the 1912 version of Richard Strauss's Ariadne Auf Naxos with the Boston Symphony. Her performance of the role, especially Zerbinetta's aria, Grossmachtige Prinzessin, which she sang in the original higher key, won her acclaim. Home video taped copies circulated among collectors for years afterwards, often commanding large sums on internet auction sites. The performance was released commercially in 2006, garnering high praise. The second major event of the year was her debut as Pamira in Rossini's The Siege of Corinth at La Scala, a success that put her on the cover of Newsweek. Sills's now high profile career landed her on the cover of Time in 1971, where she was described as America's Queen of Opera. The title was appropriate because Sills had purposely limited her overseas engagements because of her family. Her major overseas appearances include London's Covent Garden, Milan's La Scala, La Fenice in Venice, the Vienna State Opera, the Théâtre de Beaulieu in Lausanne, Switzerland, and concerts in Paris. In South America, she sang in the opera houses of Buenos Aires and Santiago, a concert in Lima, Peru, and appeared in several productions in Mexico City, including Lucia di Lammermoor with Luciano Pavarotti. On November 9, 1971, her performance in the New York City Opera's production of The Golden Cockerel was telecast live to cable TV subscribers. During this period, she made her first television appearance as a talk show personality in May 1968 on Virginia Graham's Girl Talk, a weekday series syndicated by ABC Films. An opera fan who was talent coordinator for the series persuaded the producer to put her on the air and she was a huge hit. 
Throughout the rest of her career she shone as a talk show guest, sometimes also functioning as a guest host. Sills underwent successful surgery for ovarian cancer in late October 1974 sometimes misreported as breast cancer. Her recovery was so rapid and complete that she opened in the Daughter of the Regiment at the San Francisco Opera a month later. Following Sir Rudolf Bing's departure as director, Sills finally made her debut at the Metropolitan Opera on April 7, 1975 in the Siege of Corinth, receiving an 18-minute ovation. Other operas she sang at the Met include La Traviata, Lucia di Lammermoor, Thace, and Don Pasquale directed by John Dexter. In an interview after his retirement, Bing stated that his refusal to use Sills, as well as his preference for engaging, almost exclusively, Italian stars such as Renata Tibaldi due to his notion that American audiences expected to see Italian stars, was the single biggest mistake of his career. Sills attempted to downplay her animosity towards Bing while she was still singing, and even in her two autobiographies. But in a 1997 interview, Sills spoke her mind plainly, Oh, Mr. Bing is an ass. W. Heil everybody said what a great administrator he was and a great this, Mr. Bing was just an improbable, impossible general manager of the Metropolitan Opera. The arrogance of that man. Sills was a recitalist, especially in the final decade of her career. She sang in midsize cities and on college concert series, bringing her art to many who might never see her on stage in a fully staged opera. She also sang concerts with a number of symphony orchestras. Sills continued to perform for New York City Opera, her home opera house, essaying new roles right up to her retirement, including the leading roles in Rossini's Il Turco in Italia, Franz Lahar's The Merry Widow and Giancarlo Minotti's La Loca, an opera commissioned in honor of her 50th birthday. La Loca was the first work written expressly as a vehicle for Sills and was her last new role, as she retired the following year. Her farewell performance was at San Diego Opera in 1980, where she shared the stage with Joan Sutherland in a production of Die Fledermaus, although Sills' voice type was characterized as a lyric coloratura. She took a number of heavier spinto and dramatic coloratura roles more associated with heavier voices as she grew older, including Bellini's Norma, Donizetti's Lucrezia Borgia with Suzanne Marcy as Orsini and the latter composers. Three queens, Anna Bolina, Maria Stuarda and Elisabetta in Roberto Devereux opposite Placido Domingo in the title part. She was admired in those roles for transcending the lightness of her voice with dramatic interpretation, although it may have come at a cost. Sills later commented that Roberto Devereux shortened her career by at least four years. Sills popularized opera through her talk show appearances, including Johnny Carson, Dick Cavett, David Frost, Mike Douglas, Merv Griffin, and Dinah Shore. Sills hosted her own talk show, Lifestyles with Beverly Sills, which ran on Sunday mornings on NBC for two years in the late 1970s. It won an Emmy Award. In 1979 she appeared on The Muppet Show. Down to earth and approachable, Sills helped dispel the traditional image of the temperamental opera diva. <laughs> Later years and death In 1978, Sills announced she would retire on October 27, 1980, in a farewell gala at the New York City Opera. In the spring of 1979, she began acting as co-director of NYCO, and became its sole general director as of the fall season of that year, a post she held until 1989, although she remained on the NYCO board until 1991. During her time as general director, Sills helped turn what was then a financially struggling opera company into a viable enterprise. She also devoted herself to various arts causes and such charities as the March of Dimes and was sought after for speaking engagements on college campuses and for fundraisers. From 1994 to 2002, Sills was chairwoman of Lincoln Center. In October 2002, she agreed to serve as chairwoman of the Metropolitan Opera, for which she had been a board member since 1991. She resigned as Met chairwoman in January 2005, citing family as the main reason she had to place her husband, whom she had cared for over eight years, in a nursing home. She stayed long enough to supervise the appointment of Peter Gelb, formerly head of Sony Classical Records, as the Met's general manager, to succeed Joseph Volpe in August 2006. 
Peter Greeno, Sills's husband, died on September 6, 2006, at the age of 89, shortly before what would have been their 50th wedding anniversary on November 17, 2006. She co-hosted The View for Best Friends Week on November 9, 2006, as Barbara Walters' best friend. She said that she didn't sing anymore, even in the shower, to preserve the memory of her voice. She appeared on screen in movie theaters during HD transmissions live from the Met, interviewed during intermissions by the host Margaret Juntwaite on January 6, 2007 I Puritani simulcast, as a backstage interviewer on February 24, 2007 Eugene Onegin simulcast and then, briefly, on April 28, 2007 Il Tritico simulcast. On June 28, 2007, the Associated Press and CNN reported that Sills was hospitalized as gravely ill from lung cancer. With her daughter at her bedside, Beverly Sills succumbed to cancer on July 2, 2007, at the age of 78. She is buried in Sharon Gardens, the Jewish division of Kensico Cemetery in Valhalla, New York. She was survived by her two children and three stepchildren from Peter Greeno's first marriage. Her daughter Meredith, Muffy, Greeno died on July 3, 2016 in New York City. Topic. Voice Sills's voice has been described at the same time. Rich, supple. Silvery. Precise, a little light. Multicolored. Robust and enveloping. With a cutting edge that can slice through the largest orchestra and chorus. Soaring easily above high C her technique and musicianship have been much praised. Conductor Thomas Shippers said in a 1971 interview with Time that she had the fastest voice alive. The New York Times writes that she could dispatch coloratura rollades and embellishments, capped with radiant high Ds and E flats, with seemingly effortless agility. She sang with scrupulous musicianship, rhythmic incisiveness and a vivid sense of text. Soprano Leontine Price was flabbergasted at how many millions of things she can do with a written scale." Her vocal range, in performance, extended from F3 to F6, and she said she could sometimes hit a G6 in warm-up. <laughs> <laughs> Operatic repertoire These are the roles that Sills performed on stage or for television or radio. Topic. Honors and awards Sills received many honors and awards from the 1970s through her final years. Here are a list of her major awards, divided by category Grammy Award nominations 1969 Scenes and Arias from French Opera 1970 Mozart and Strauss Arias 1976 Music of Victor Herbert winner. Emmy Award nominations 1975 Profile in Music, Beverly Sills, Festival 75 winner 1977 Sills and Burnett at the Met 1978 Lifestyles with Beverly Sills winner 1980 Beverly Sills in Concert 1981 Great Performances, Beverly, Her Farewell Performance Honorary Doctorates in Music 1972 Temple University 1973 New York University and New England Conservatory of Music 1974 Harvard University 1975 California Institute of the Arts Other music-related awards 1970 Musical America, Musician of the Year 1971 Inducted as a National Patroness of Delta Omicron, an International Professional Music Fraternity on May 1. 1972 Edison Award, Manon Recording 1973 Handel Medallion from New York City for Artistic Achievement 1979 Recording Industry of America Cultural Award 1980 Golden Baton, American Symphony Orchestra League 1985 Kennedy Center Honors 1990 National Medal of Arts from National Endowment for the Arts 1996 The Second Annual Heinz Award in Arts and Humanities 2005 Beverly Sills Artist Award established by the Metropolitan Opera $50,000 Annual Award 
2007 inducted into the Long Island Music Hall of Fame Charitable and Humanitarian Awards 1979 Pearl S. Buck Women's Award 1980 Presidential Medal of Freedom 1981 Barnard College Medal of Distinction 1984 Charles S. Hughes Gold Medal Award, National Conference of Christians and Jews 1985 Gold Medal from National Institute of Social Sciences 1998 National Women's Hall of Famicils was a member of the Delta Sigma Theta sorority. Topic: <laughs> Recordings and broadcasts. During her operatic career, Sills recorded 18 full-length operas: The Ballad of Baby Doe, Bible, Castle, Buckley, 1959. Giulio Cesare, Wolf, Forrester, Tragel, Rudel, 1967. Roberto Devereux, Wolf, Ilas Falvi, Glossop, Macaris, 1969. Lucia di Lammermoor, Berganzi, Capicilli, Diaz, Shippers, 1970. Menon, Suze, Bakir, Rudel, 1970. La Traviata, Geta, Panerai, Chicago, 1971. Maria Stuarda, Farrell, Burroughs, El Quilico, Chicago, 1971. The Tales of Hoffman, Marcy, Burroughs, Tragel, Rudel, 1972. Anna Bolina, Verrett, Burroughs, Plishka, Rudel, 1972. I Puritani, Geta, El Quilico, Plishka, Rudel, 1973. Norma, Verrett, D. Giuseppe, Plishka, Levine, 1973. The Siege of Corinth, Verrett, The Yard, Diaz, Shippers, 1974. Il Barbiere di Civilia, Barbieri, Geta, Milnes, Ramondi, Levine, 1974-75. I Capoletti e I Montecchi, Baker, Geta, Heron C X, Lloyd, G Patton, 1975. Face, Geta, Milnes, Mazel, 1976. Louise, Geta, Van Dam, Rudel, 1977. Don Pasquale, Kraus, Titus, Graham, Caldwell, 1978. Rigoletto, M. Dunn, Kraus, Milnes, Ramy, Rudel, 1978. Sills also recorded nine solo recital albums of arias and songs, and was soprano soloist on a 1967 recording of Mahler's Symphony No. 2. She starred in eight opera productions televised on PBS and several more on other public TV systems. She participated in such TV specials as A Look In at the Met with Danny Kaye in 1975, Sills and Burnett at the Met, with Carol Burnett in 1976, and Profile in Music, which won an Emmy Award for its showing in the U.S. in 1975, although it had been recorded in England in 1971. Some of those televised performances have been commercially distributed on videotape and DVD, Ariadne Auf Naxos, Watson, Nagy, Leinsdorf, 1969, concert version. La Fille du Regiment, Costa Greenspan, McDonald, Mollas, Wendelkin Wilson, Mansori, 1974. Roberto Devereux, Marcy, Alexander, Fredericks, Rudel, Capobianco, 1975. La Traviata, H. Price, Fredericks, Rudel, Capobianco, 1976. Il Barbiere di Civilia H. Price, Titus, Graham, Ramy, Caldwell, Caldwell, 1976 Manon H. Price, Fredericks, Ramy, Rudel, Capobianco, 1977 Others not available commercially include The Magic Flute Proct, Shirley, Reardon, NN, NN, 1966 Le Coque d'Or Costa Greenspan, D. Giuseppe, Tragel, Rudel, Capobianco, 1971 Die Lustige Witwe, Titus, Alcantara, Capobianco, 1977. Il Turco in Italia, Marcy, H. Price, Titus, Graham, Rudel, Capobianco, 1978. Don Pasquale, Kraus, Haggard, Bakir, Rescigno, Dexter, 1979. After her retirement from singing in 1980 up through 2006, Sills was the host for many of the PBS Live from Lincoln Center telecasts. Topic further reading, listening, viewing Sills, Beverly 1976. Bubbles, A Self-Portrait. New York, Bob's Merrill. ISBN 0-446-81520-9. A revised edition was issued in 1981 as Bubbles, an encore. 
Sills, Beverly with Lawrence Linderman 1987. Beverly, An Autobiography. New York, Bantam Books. ISBN 0-553-05173-3. Sills, Beverly 1987. Beverly Sills, On My Own. ISBN 0-553-45743-8. An audiobook designated as a companion to Beverly, an autobiography, with Sills speaking an interview about her life, interspersed with narration and live musical excerpts. There is no direct text from the printed autobiography. Paolucci, Bridget 1990. Beverly Sills. New York, Chelsea House Publishers. ISBN 1-55546-677-X. Sargent, Withrop 1973. Divas. New York, Coward, McCann and Gagan. ISBN 0-698-10489-7. Beverly Sills, Made in America 2006. Deutsche Grammophon B0007999-09. A 90-minute documentary on Sills's singing career with many rare video performance and interview clips. Guy, Nancy 2015. The Magic of Beverly Sills. Urbana, Chicago, University of Illinois Press. ISBN 978-0-252-03973-7.